Tonight is the night. Skywatchers will be treated to something that hasn't been seen in nearly 800 years. It's the Middle Ages, a rare Christmas star formed by the great conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn. Jackie Jarrett spoke to our favorite astrophysicist, Dr. Paul Sutter, about the history of the Christmas star. Let's talk about history. Could this be the star that the wise men followed? So uh, one of the coolest things about astronomy is that uh, we understand physics. We understand the motions of objects in the sky. Like none of this is a mystery anymore. It used to be, but now it isn't. Uh, and we can run the clock backwards to see when these kinds of conjunctions happened in the past. And this did not happen 2,000 years ago. Interesting, and that clears that up, right? Because we were all kind of wondering that. All right, so will you get to see the Christmas star? Uh, here's a look at the cloud cover forecast for tonight, and you want to look to the southwest sky about 45 minutes to an hour after sunset. And you'll have great clear skies across a good chunk of the south into the plains and Mississippi Valley. I mean, look at Kansas City and St. Louis. Looks fantastic. We're also going to see Little Rock, I think, with some good viewing conditions. Iffy in Florida, but really, I think you have a decent chance, 33% sky cover or cloud cover so i think you got a chance to wait for those clouds to move on by now the northeast and parts of the eastern lakes that's going to be one spot where this time of year it's hard to shake the clouds anyway but we do have a lot of cloud cover up here um so we will see jim and by the way there, there is a meteor shower going on right now too the ursids so if you want to stay up all night go ahead sky show all night long jen we could only hope to 